Okay. So this video is going to be giving my top 10 favorites of the Bini Bini official swimsuit photos, glam shots. Actually quite hard to come down to a top 10, so I have a top 12. Let's get into it. Who's this? Look at who's this? Okay, I am back a day later. So I tried to record this video yesterday and as you saw, Lily had other plans. So I had to kibosh that, whatever. You do what you gotta do when you're a mom, you know? So let's get back into it. First in my top 12 favorites, I'm just gonna say top 12 because I couldn't decide on 10, is Joanna Toledo. I think she looks so striking. Her pose is quite simple, but I think she really pulls it off. She gives me these like, Kourtney Kardashian vibes or something with the dark sleek hair. Then I have Samantha of Kevite. You guys know how I feel about trying to pronounce the names. I love her pose. This is one of my favorite poses. Her highlight is so on point. It looks amazing. She's like a goddess. Next I have Porto Princessa Jessery. Her hair is like flowing from her face. The blue on her is perfection. I love everything about this look. Another one of my favorites overall is Samantha Bernardo of Palawan. She looks so beautiful. Honestly, when I'm going through these, I'm having actually such a tough time having decided on my top 12 because I think all the women look so good. I love her pose. Again, it's quite simple. I'm not the biggest fan of this swimsuit on her. I don't know. I feel like it's, I don't know. What do you guys think? Another girl who's really been standing out to me lately is Emma Taglau. There's something about her that just screams like model to me. I don't know if she'll be the Miss Universe Philippines, but I could really see her going to one of the other pageants that's maybe a bit more model-esque. I just feel like her face is so gorgeous. She's really growing on me. Then I have another one of my favorites, Patricia. She, I really think, has a strong chance at winning the Miss Universe Philippines title. I love her pose here. Her hair is flowing. Her face looks flawless. I am loving everything about this. This is definitely one of my favorites from all these photos. Next in my list is Maria Andrea from Pasig. Love the pose. Love this swimsuit on her. This is like a similar cut to the one that Samantha Bernardo had, but this one has sleeves and I'm loving the sleeves. I actually would have liked to see these sleeves on Samantha Bernardo. Another favorite, Gazzini Ganados. Love her. I love this photo, but it's not like 100% for me. I feel like the legs look awkward or something or like, so it's like, it's like a 9 out of 10 for me. It's not a 10 out of 10. Kind of has a Catriona Gray vibe here. So that lasted a whole like 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. But we will continue and see how far we get. So next I have kind of a surprise for me because she hasn't really stood out to me that much so far. Martina Turner Diaz. I think this pose is perfection. One of my favorite shots of this whole collection of photos. Her hair is like perfectly flowing from her face. This is definitely one of my favorite shots. Another one of my favorites, Marianne from Marquina. I love her hair in this. I love her face. I think she looks super fierce. I love the pose. It's like a super powerful pose. I like that she kind of has her chin up and she's looking down. Okay, Lauren May or Loren Bautista. I love this shot. I'm, I love that blue bathing suit. I love the blue color on some of these girls with their dark hair. The contrast is so nice. And last in my top 12 favorites here is April Short. I was a little indecisive on this one in my top 12 just because, I don't know, there's something about her face that I'm like not 100% with, like the expression on her face. But I like the pose. I love the sleek hair. I love this bathing suit, the one long arm. I think it looks incredible on her. So now some of the girls who are normally kind of in my top that have really been standing out to me, but that weren't quite there with their photos. But now that I'm looking at them again, I just don't know. My first one is Vicky Rushton. I love her. I love the photo, but I feel like the pose is like a little weak. I feel like seeing the other stuff I've seen from her, she could have had a stronger pose. The hair is kind of whatever. But you know what? Sometimes this stuff is beyond the girl's control. Like she could have had one photo that had an amazing pose, amazing hair, but it's not the one that the editors chose. So it's kind of out of their control. Julia, I, I really like Julia. She's really growing on me. I think that it's just the photo is like kind of lame, I guess. I don't know what it is, but there's something really awkward looking about her hand. 
What the F? You guys see what I'm seeing? I feel like something strange is happening here. Okay, another girl who's usually a standout, Hannah Arnold, wasn't really feeling this photo. It's not all coming together for me. The pose is like sort of there, but it's not quite there. It's like kind of stiff. Maria Isabella Galleria. I don't know, maybe she should have been in my top 12. I don't know. Okay, Sigrid. I really think she looks beautiful here. It's like a cute but like sexy vibe. She's kind of on that borderline for me. Like could be in the top 12, but I'm so indecisive with these photos. Okay, that's it. This was a pretty short video again. My favorite images from these photos are probably Samantha from Cavite. Patricia, of course. I think she looks amazing. Her pose is awesome. And maybe Samantha Bernardo, just the simplicity of her shot. This one is getting fussy, so I better go. But as usual, if you guys wanna see more from me, please subscribe and I'm about to record, if I can, my favorites for Miss Universe Australia. So if you are interested in that, then check it out. I'll see you next time. Say bye. Say bye.